welcome. This is your first time to get in our sandbox on the um, Edgy Punk channel. First notice you will get an email. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but within the email, you will find that um, there's some information. First thing, notice that there is a special link to the organizational account. You want to save that just like you have a um, link to WizIQ now. This is an a whole new link. It's kind of like a separate site. Then um, there's a username for you. This is channel 3 so you sa see it says the edupunk3 at gmail.com. That is your username and a password in that email. You need to keep those three pieces of information. Then you will click on that link and it will take you to this page for our edupunk channel. You'll put in the email Let's see, that was the, oh look, if you remember, tell it to remember, it remembers everything for you. And you put in your password, if I can remember what it is. You can tell it to remember or not. This password does get changed periodically, and then click sign in. And this will take you to the channel that was assigned to you for sandbox and for many um, things that don't fit in our normal format. This is what we use. You'll see any upcoming classes that you may have scheduled for yourself or friends and past classes. You'll also see the name of your team and oh, I hope you don't edit the profile. We don't want you to do that. The main thing you want to be able to do is schedule a class. And these are a private class. If you do want to schedule a public class to be shown on WizIQ schedules, you have to contact me. So let's just call it a test for Charlie. And he might invite friends, he might invite students, whatever. You can schedule it for right now if you want to just pop in and practice right away or you can set a specific time and date. All right. Now, I'm not going to go into this too much. There's other things elsewhere. Keywords about the class aren't that important. The main thing is that you want to practice and have some fun. Uh, this note down here, if you're inviting people that haven't been around WizIQ before, you will, and it's going to be a private class, you will want to make it um, without sign-up. That way, they don't have to go through the WizIQ sign-in to be able to get to the class. But that's kind of a subtle thing that you really don't care about. You can actually even put more information about your class if you wish. This is nice. I suggest 30 minutes is fine. Don't schedule hour and two hour classes. This is just to, to play around with. Um, and I think that's really all that you would care about. Oh, webcam or webcam only audio. And then the next thing you do is click schedule and continue. And now you'll get a page with some more information. This first thing is important, your class link. You want to copy that, okay, and to send to other people or even to yourself to keep track of. Um, you wouldn't want to need to mess around with anything else, but the last thing to remember is you come back here to launch the class, right to this same EduPunk channel. And then let's go back to home and see what it looks like there. I don't have a lot of time. These can only be five minute long. There we go. And now we see, oh, look. Charlie, there might be five or six people using this, and you could see what classes are coming up. Just don't go to them because this is set up as the teacher's account. So if you go into his class, if you're not Charlie, and you go into his class, you can mess up his stuff. So this is just for you to experiment with, not for you to um, uh, get involved with other people. And then you simply launch the class. But you'll start seeing that. This is just to have fun and to mess around and have all of the features of a premium membership. All right, so I think that's it for this time. I did get it under five minutes. I did talk fast. Hope you guys could understand. Bye-bye.